Hi. Assume a three column data set with ISBN in column A, short title in column B, and the BIC code in column C. Now, this is a simple tabular representation of uh, three columns and some uh, 565 odd rows of data. And I'd like to change the orientation of this data set to show me ISBN in one column, short title in the other, which is exactly what I also have in my source data here. But then instead of all BICs appearing in one column, one below the other, I actually like to create separate columns for BICs. So to take an example, uh, you'll see the codes in the first two rows are exactly the same. So is the short title, but the BIC code differs. So I'd like the code to come over here with the short title coming against it in the next column. And with two columns, one for the first code of that particular ISBN, next to the second code. And the same should happen for all the other rows as well. So the number of BIC codes for every ISBN is, is unknown at this point of time. Now, since this represents more of a pivot table like structure, let's actually see what happens when we create a pivot table. So I select this data set under insert pivot table. When I click on OK, I can drag the ISBN over here, the short title just below that and get rid of these subtotal rows and then in the value area section I can drag the BIC code column. Now here you'll see uh, instead of actually seeing the individual BIC codes I actually get to see the count of those BIC codes which is not what I obviously need. I want the individual BIC codes to appear here column wise. Now in a pivot table the value area section can only show a numerical uh, value and therefore I will not be able to solve this problem via using a pivot table. I therefore delete that worksheet and instead over here, I create a dummy column called tally with a counted formula which effectively tells me what is the number of times the ISBN code appears from the very first cell to the active cell. So and let me just give a more text before that to make it more meaningful. So that's BIC1 and I drag it all the way down. So you'll see since this ISBN code appears twice over, in the first appearance of that ISBN there's a BIC1, in the next one there's a BIC2. Since this appears only once, there's a BIC1 there. This code appears twice over once again, so there's a BIC1, there's a BIC2. Now I can actually make use of power query to get my desired data structure. I select the data set there. I head on to Power Query, Excel data from table. And you'll observe over here that my headings have not been um, judged correctly. Instead, it, opt, uh, it creates some dummy headings such as column 1, 2, and 3. So I can simply right click over here and say used first row as headers. The moment I do that, I get the correct headers. And now I can actually create a pivot table like structure with Power Query and also have text values in the, in the value area section. So I select a tally column and I go to transform pivot column. Use the names of the column tally to create new columns. Value area section should actually contain the BIC codes and under advanced options, it's asking me what do I want to aggregate by. Here I can simply say don't aggregate and if I click on OK, I actually get my desired data structure with ISBN, short title, and BIC is appearing in columns. Give a meaningful name to it. Let's say BIC report. And under home, I can simply click, say, click it, close and load. And I get my desired data structure. And to top it all off, all this is dynamic so if I make any changes to my base data sheet over here all I need to do on the resultant data sheet is to right click and refresh. I hope you enjoyed watching this short video. Thank you.